Hi guys, it's Gracie with Small World's Big Adventures, and today we're going to do a walkthrough of the game Planet. Planet is a very hands-on game where you are building a world uh, in hopes of recruiting animals to live on it. It's for two to four players, and here you can see it comes with these plastic globes, some magnetic tiles, and a deck of cards. The first thing you'll do is you'll mix up the magnetic tiles and you'll put them in 10 rows of five tiles each. Once you've laid out the magnetic tiles, you will then shuffle the animal cards and lay them out. Rows one and two will have no animal cards. Then rows three, four, and five will each have one animal card. Then row six, seven, eight, and nine will have two animal cards and then there's only 10 rows of magnetic tiles right now but um there will be technically 12 rows so then rows 10 11 and 12 will each have three animals each now we're setting up for the easier version of the game which has all the animals face up now if you wanted to make it more challenging then that first column of animals would all be face up, but then any other animals would be face down. It's all about how much of a challenge you want. Now you will see Scott kind of move the magnetic tiles. Uh, that is mainly because it can be a little hard to judge how far apart they need to be. Um, but there should be 10 rows of magnetic tiles and uh, 10 rows of animals, but they're kind of skewed off of each other. All the other animals go in the box. Now that the game's set up, it's time for player setup. Each player will get a card, and this card is your preferred terrain. So this will give you victory points at the end based on how many triangles you have of that terrain. Keep it a secret though. Each player will also get a globe, um, a little dodecahedron. Decide which player will be first, and then you're ready to play the game. For each round, you'll flip over the stack of five terrain tiles. The first person gets to choose which terrain tile they want first. Then the second person gets to choose. Uh, the players can put the terrain on their planet any way that they want. And when you pick tiles, you'll want to keep in mind your preferred terrain or whatever habitats are coming up so that you can recruit the animals that you want to win. The unchosen tiles for each round will get placed in rows 11 and 12 until both of those each have five magnet tiles too. After that, the extra tiles go in the box. Starting in round three, you'll start trying to recruit animals. Now this animal right here has a large ice image and then a small green image. This animal wants the largest tundra area touching forest. So the players will then count how many tundra triangles they have touching forest. So my largest one here is two and Scott's is a lot bigger. So he wins that animal. Another symbol you might see uh, is on this raccoon one where you have a large forest tile meaning it wants the largest forest area but is not touching mountains and it has that red X now the last type is the circle of five terrain types and this animal wants the most regions regardless of size of that one so you can see here, we're turning the ball to count how many different regions not touching each other that we have. And in this case, I have more, uh, even though Scott has a larger region. And so I will end up winning the snake. 
Now, in a round, you may find that you and another player uh, tie for whatever the animal needs. The biggest land or the most regions. So, if that is the case, what happens then is that animal moves to the next round. So, you will just slide that card on to the next round of tiles. Now, if you're, there's a tie in the final round, if it is an animal that needs the most regions, it just goes in the box. However, if it is an animal that needs the largest region, and you tie on that one, then you would go for your guys' second largest region. And if by some chance you guys tie at that level too, as you see me and Scott here both tie for four, you'd go to your third largest region, which here Scott has one, and I end up having two, so I would get that card. Um, but if we tie at that point, uh, if there's three ties, then that animal too would go back in the box and can't be one. Now, once your planet has been filled and all the animals have been claimed, it's time to count points. So each player will count how many triangles of their preferred terrain they have. Uh, when Scott was counting, I think he had ended up with like 26. So he gets 10 points. So in order to get the points beneath it, you'd have to at least hit that number. So here's... Now it's time to calculate points for animals. If the animal matches your train type, that animal is worth one point. But if the animal doesn't match your train uh, type, then you'll get two points. So here you'll see I'll have a total of 11 points from animals. And that's it. It's a pretty simple game. It plays really quickly and it's a lot of fun. Uh, if you wanna see more walkthroughs, game reviews, or even uh, gamekeeper tips, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you click that notification bell, you'll get notified when we upload videos. And if you liked seeing this walkthrough and you found it helpful, please just go ahead and drop a like. Until next time.